Welcome to Growing Leaders Session 1, Leadership Matters. Let me just remind you what we're trying to do in these videos. We want to do three things. We want to remind ourselves of the aims of the session, give you an overview of how the session is put together, and then offer you some practical pointers, tips for running a really good session. So Growing Leaders Session 1, Leadership Matters, has four aims. The first is to enable participants to get to know one another. You may well have gathered people from a range of different churches, or maybe they don't know each other very well, even from the same church. And we want to give a variety of ways to build community at the start of the course. Secondly, to identify what we mean by Christian leadership. Thirdly, to understand our own particular leadership style. And our fourth aim is to clarify practicalities of the course so that people know what they need to do from this point onwards. So why these particular aims? We've discovered that people have a range of different stereotypes of, of leadership and what a leader looks like. And we want to take some time to help undermine those stereotypes and clarify something of the distinctives of Christian leadership. We also want to give them an opportunity to explore their own leadership style. It's not unusual for individuals to think that because they're not like, well, a particular leader, they can't be a leader themselves. But there are a range of different ways to lead, a range of different leadership styles. And by identifying what their own style might be, it will help them to become more confident, maybe for some even to accept the, leader, the label leader in the first place. You'll find in the pack there are a whole variety of resources to help you run this session. There are some leaders' guides. Please do read through those carefully as they try to give you pointers to actually running the session. There are some handouts which you can photocopy, run off for the course participants. There's a PowerPoint that you'll be able to use to help you as you introduce the session. There's also a copy of the course book, and it might well be worth reading through the relevant chapters yourself before you run the session and offering copies of the book to the members of the course. You'll find also on the website there's a variety of additional material, things that people have sent in that they've found really helpful uh, to help them run a good course. So please do look on the website and you'll find things that might well be of use to you. Well, at this point, I want to turn to Lorraine again uh, to gain some practical pointers on how to run this session. So Lorraine, what have you found has been good things to do as you've come towards this first session? Well, the first session where possible is to really make sure you can, if, if you can, do the overnight stay. The overnight stay is the place where the relationships really bed in and that's where trust and openness starts to develop and a sense of community because a lot of these people haven't actually been together for any length of time quite often. So how have you made that a special time? Well the main thing is to really make sure that people do feel special when they come so we do a lot of uh, carrying of bags when they arrive, we do a lot of preparation before they even start and, and arrive at, at, at the place uh, and if they've got dietary issues then to make sure that you're catering for all those different issues and it makes them feel really special when you do do that. Perhaps worth clarifying, isn't it, that the session actually is designed to run over Friday evening and right the way through the Saturday. Mm. So that's quite a lot of uh, time for people. Is the commitment to that time worth it? Absolutely. And especially if you've got young kids, because this could be the first time that you've been away from your young children. So I would, I would really recommend it, although I know it can't always happen for all groups. And how have you prepared for the session? So preparation for the session uh, is very much about tailoring each part of the sections to your particular circumstance, to the group particularly. So if you've got several churches that are all together and working, then make sure that you've got information about those churches and what the context is that they're working in and tailor those sections as much as you can do. Now, one of the things that people might be concerned about on a course like this is confidentiality. How have you handled that? Uh, number one, right at the very beginning, is to talk about ground rules or confidentiality as part of that. So that ultimately everyone in the group um, keeps what is being said in the group and doesn't take it outside and be really clear about that because that's where trust will develop and that's where examples will come out if people feel safe. Okay, so we're creating a safe community, a mm. place where people can be real and honest. Yep. I guess you're modelling that as a leader yourself. Totally. The stories and illustrations you're using. Absolutely. Uh, another aspect of the course that we're setting up right at the start here is the mentoring aspect. Yeah. What are some of the things that have been helpful as you've done that? Um, well, first of all, I have to say after around three courses, the mentoring relationship has been the key for people really changing and growing. So it's really fundamental to get it right. Uh, we've selected, we, when we did ours, we selected the, the mentors, we briefed them about what was to be expected from them. And then we met together and got to pray specifically about who was going to be mentored with by whom. 
uh, and then set that up. Um, excellent. And how often do they meet with the participant? Uh, in between each session. So once a month? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much, Lorraine. So there we are. That's the first Growing Leaders session. You'll find there are resources both in the pack for the equipping and developing of those mentors. And also on the web, we've created now 10 mentor bulletins, one for each session. The idea is that you send them out as an email attachment to the mentors following each session. And that gives them some information about what's been covered and some pointers about things to focus on in their mentoring time. We hope you really enjoy this first session of Growing Leaders. <laughs>